everybody and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is a very special PE with Joe, because look, I'm joined by the man himself, Louis Theroux. Hello everybody. Who I, I found out during lockdown from a, a, a funny lad bible video that you did every single workout except one during PE with Joe. Is that That's, true? That is true, yes. And I, you did a pretty good impression of me too. Well, I don't know if it was a good impression. Uh, they caught me, I, I think, I, I don't even know why I did it, but I, did, I started saying, um, Look at my barnet. I'm not going to do Look it. Look at right. my barnet. Come on, Nicky. Let's have a shout out. One more. Come on, Joe. I'm not from Essex. I'm from Epsom, but it's a good impression. Anyway, I reached out to Louis because I was chuffed. I've been a big fan of his documentaries for years. And I said, Louis, come on my um, podcast. You found time. We had an hour conversation, a really great chat on the Joe Wicks podcast. And then we sort of had this conversation around, like, you know, if we ever wanted to do a TV show or a documentary that Louis' production company, Mindhouse, would be a great place to do it. And, we, they, you know, we've, we've actually done that. We've shot an amazing documentary around parental mental health, yeah. my childhood, and... Well, how, I'm really proud of it as a piece of It's content. amazing. And I should say, like, I, 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 in addition to doing every workout during lockdown, it got me through lockdown, it changed my attitude to fitness, mental health, but also I, I'd, I'd, uh, I heard your Desert Island Discs, which if anyone out there hasn't heard, it's definitely worth finding on BBC Sounds, which is very moving. You talk movingly about your upbringing, complicated family life, and I thought if we can bring some of that along with the fitness message into the documentary, it would be an extraordinary piece of work. And it is, we've finished editing it. Yeah, it's, been it's, it's an emotional journey, but listen, thank you for uh, putting it together, because I am yeah. super proud of it. It's coming on BBC One very soon. We'll let you know in the comments when it's gonna air. But Louis, listen, in 10 seconds time, first exercise, we're gonna do 20 moves in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna jog on the spot, 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest. So here we go. Just nice and gentle to start off with. Lift the knees up, nice straight back. Off we go. So yeah, Louis, I'll be honest with you, that documentary, filming it, was so much more emotional and challenging than I thought. But when it's all together, I'm looking at it, you know, I'm really proud of what we've created. And I do think it's gonna help you know, families, especially with mental health, to you know, get through it, I think. Well, it, it's, um, you're, both your parents are in it, as yeah. well as your, your brother, Nicky. Uh, was it a job to persuade them all to come on board? Right, hang on, last five seconds. A little bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, one. It's not. It's hard enough cooking and chatting, right? I'm, like, I'm, you know, I'm this morning and sat in the kitchen, but trying to work it's out and do it at the same time. Yeah, look. Second, the next exercise is going to be squats. Just so you know, coming up next. It was my brother Nicky. He doesn't like being in the camera. He was quite yeah. reluctant, but I think it added to the story. I think he needed yeah. to be in it. So, you know, my mum and dad were very open and honest. It was an emotion. I was so tired, man. Every time I filmed, I was coming home just drained, but like emotionally drained. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you were, there was a lot going on, like emotionally, and you know, you know, coming out of lockdown. And, but did you enjoy, or was it too stressful to really enjoy? Firstly, you got great technique, good hips, like good mobility in that in those squats. Uh, yeah, basically, I just went into it thinking it wasn't about me. It was about shining a light on other people's mental health and their journey, and like what services are out there. But what I realised, it became very personal because. I was sitting there with my mum, like I'm hearing stuff for the first time that I'd never heard. About like three, two, one, things I'd, I'd never heard, like that were just opening up childhood memories and trauma that I didn't really think had affected me, but obviously has. But you know, like I said, I'm through it now. I can look back at it and see that it's my story and our, and our journey as a family will really help yeah. other people, you know? Right, number three, your favourite mountain yeah. climbing. So oh, hands on the ground, okay. high plank position. Yeah, I'm just going to pump those knees to the chest. Here we go. Yeah, it's tough, but you know, as, as I said, we have to be honest and brought, like, you have to be vulnerable because there's no point going on camera having conversations and not being, being yeah. really honest. Definitely. And um, I was coming home every night, like, after filming and I said to Rosa, oh no, let me, I can keep going, keep going. I'll keep going. Uh, get rid of that, yeah, keep going. Postman's here. Right, last few seconds. We've got 10 on the clock. How's my form? How's my shape? Good, perfect. Right, do I have those knees up? Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, oh. I, was, I was coming home just like exhausted and um, just didn't want to talk. But like, I felt really like emotionally drained. It yeah. felt like I'd been exercising all day just from a two hour conversation. But right, we get. Okay. Next one, I'm walk. 141. Yeah, we're going to get that up. So we're going to walk out like this. Yeah into a high pack, we're going to do three push-ups and then walk back. So come back up with your feet, that's it. Let's go. So walking out, three push-ups, one, two, three, brilliant. Yeah, you know, it was a, I mean, it was 15 days of filming, right? It's a lot of filming for an hour of TV, but you've got to get the content, haven't you? 
I think I've done four then, I miscounted. Did you? Did yeah. I, I couldn't work out. I've done four, so it's three push ups. Three, two, one. Right, keep it up. So, Louis, on a personal note, how important is exercise to you for your kind of you know, physical and mental health? Uh, it's, it's absolutely key. I mean, I'm capable of being quite boring on this subject just because I talk so much to friends about it. Uh, I still, to this day, do five or six workouts a week. Really? Still? Sometimes just a short one. Some of my favourite ones are only 12 minutes. Oh, the short and sweet 12 minutes at the Tabata sort of style. Yeah. We're going to do reverse lunges now. Okay. So you've got the app, you're now using the Body Coach app. Yeah. You also do the YouTube Round the World one, so you do like the sort of... Yeah, some of the older ones, like there's one, it's a 12 minute workout. I can't remember what it's called, it's a high intensity Tabata that you did from your home. And just 12 minutes and you feel like, even if you're busy... It's enough, yeah. You've just done something to... Do you ever do two rounds of it and go through again, or is 12 minutes enough for you? Well, you know, I've never done, what I sometimes do is, at the end, it ends with burpees, and I just continue the burpees. Do a bit more, yeah. What I loved about when you, when I saw that you um, were talking about, you were saying how, you know, it gave you structure, it was like the yeah. start of your day, and I think that's why I did it really, to get people up and just thinking like, Especially positively. in lockdown, and when your day's slightly blur into one, and you think, what's happened, like one day's, you, you know you've got something done in the day yeah. to do a workout. So time is ticking. Next up, number six, classic, climb the rope. Yeah. So imagine your rope, hands above the head, lift those knees up. Good. And see how we're going now. This is like 70% effort, right? Yeah. There's a big difference between this and like 100%. So let's try and get your heart rate up. Go quicker. Stretch up, knees up high, and like really push it. I think the harder you push, the better you feel at the end of it. So stretch the arms up. Knees up nice and high. Good. Right, and now faster, come on, knees up. Right, big push, 10 seconds. I want to see that heart rate up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good work, what's that saying? 160, 170? 158. Good. I get to about 160, it's quite genetic. 167. Yeah, it's going to pop up now. Right, good work. So coming what back, Louis, a little bit further back. Gonna do. What's it supposed to be? Well, at? I get to about 175, and Nicky, he gets up 190. It depends genetically. That's going to be bad for you. No, it's strong, it's working, it's a muscle. Half burpee, so hands on the floor, kick back, stand up, good. So hands on the floor, kick back, and just stand, good. Brilliant. I love that you still do my workouts, man. I mean, I'm literally like, at the moment, watching your new series, and I. I can't believe after all these years of watching on TV like that our paths have crossed like this and we're now in my living room doing a workout together. It's oh. about 10 seconds. It's changed my whole attitude to basically what it means to have a routine. That's why. <sighs> Louis, the glasses. I used to wake up, don't they get all sweaty and fall off? But sometimes I take them off. It drives me mad. I've got them lazy. Did you? Yeah, last year. It's the best thing, the best money I've ever spent. You can see like a... I've got a vision like a hawk. I'm worried no one would recognise me <laughs> Right. my glasses. Next up, we've got power squats. So basically, oh, geez. we'll just come off the rug for this one because it's going to slide. So basically, we're going to sort of go down and up. So fingers hit the floor. Ready? Let's go. So fingers hit the floor. Yeah, I used to wear glasses and contacts, but they would get really dry and itch my eyes. So I thought, look, I'm going to get the old laser done. And that's the best thing I've ever done. Really? Really, really good. I can see forever. 20 seconds. Good work. So next up we've got number nine. It's gonna be the old up down planks. One of your like favourites. This is like a real workout. Yeah, look, 20 minutes, 20 moves. And we're, look, we're doing this without no equipment, right? And you know you're gonna feel good at the end of it. And rest. You feel good and you're also gonna have energy. A lot of people are waiting around, they're like, I'm waiting to have energy, I'm waiting for motivation, but the, me the motivation and the energy that you want, the feeling is uh, the feeling is that. We're working out, we are working. It's at the end of the workout. Right, next up, classic. One, six, five. Classic PE move, star okay. jumps. Or jumping jacks if yeah. you're in the US. You call these jumping jacks out there. That's it. Right, let's go. Yeah, so what, my whole philosophy around fitness is like, life's busy, you know, things are gonna get, get in the way, but you can find 20 minutes. Yeah. We can always find 20 minutes. Right, let's go, keep pushing. 
20 seconds, and we're gonna go down for a And even if you're not feeling it, just get started. You know, do a little one, and you'll find like as it goes on, your appetite grows. You sound like me, you sound like the body coach. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I think what it is that you've had that message so many times through YouTube, P, which are like constantly reinforcing that you might not be in the mood for this. You might be stressed, you might be anxious. And I always say, like, take that energy. Like for me, when I read the news and I, you know, certain things trigger me, I just have to use that anger or frustration or tension yeah. and, and release it in the workout. Yeah. And, and it feels, that's for me, it's the mental health benefits of exercise that keep me going. Right, up, uh, plank, high plank, shoulder tap. So we go tap, tap. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's always an emphasis on exercise for losing weight, for changing your body, but it's about the mind, it's about just controlling those emotions a little bit and picking yourself up, picking your vibe up. Yeah, you're, you're, grim you're grimacing now. It's fine. You're grim <laughs> Are you trying to keep your glasses on? Because I slip it down. 13 seconds, then we're going to do our first abs exercise, so we'll slow down for 35 seconds. Good, that's good, Louis. Keep the abs tight, don't you? rock those hips. Good technique, I've got to say, you've definitely nailed the technique. And rest. All right, that's number 10. So that's number. Oh, we missed one. No. That um, was. I won number. Number 11. What did we miss one, didn't we? No, we didn't, we're on 12 now. Okay, shoulder, yeah, single leg crunches. Single leg crunches. Oh, we didn't do up down plank. Oh, that's what we've missed. Well, let's do the single leg crunches. So on your back. Yeah, I've skipped, because I'm the timer saying number 10. So, right, next one, we're going to sing. Basically, arms come back, and we're going to crunch up and touch the foot. So, knees are slightly bent, Louis. I said, knees are slightly bent, that's it, perfect. Yeah, I missed the up down plank. We can do that after this. Good effort. So, you know, during lockdown, did your kids get involved in the work? Yeah, they so were intermittent, but they did a few and then they dropped out for a bit, but, you know, you can't force them, and I think in the end, they got a lot out of it and still do it. Ah, oh, it's great to From know. time to time. So how do you... Alongside their sports stuff. Because they don't, you know, obviously they play sports at school and stuff anyway. Oh, and rest. How did you first come out about the people? Like, where did you... It was like, we never had a date, but whenever it was. The first week of lockdown, when it was announced, my wife Nancy told me about it. She said, Joe Weeks is doing a free workout on YouTube, it's live. And everyone, we just joined in and with everyone else, we just... I stuck with it. Right, up down plank, so coming back like in line really so stopped. High plank, start in this high plank position. And we go down, down, up, up. And so that was the first introduction of it. What did you think, like doing it in workouts, when you listen to that Desert Island disc, like, yeah. were you surprised by like the, the actual story that I had behind my very much so. kind of career sort of thing? I imagine you must have had a very sort of conventional and rather maybe even privileged, you know, like, your life looks so great now. I suppose I extrapolated that back. I never imagined you. Five seconds, Louis. Kind of mental illness in the family. Rest. Which shows how easy it is to make assumptions about people. Oh, I geez. think that's the thing with social media. We're working out now, this is it. With social media, you just sort of see, yeah. you see the moment, but you don't see the journey. Sometimes it's like, I always say, like my 10 year overnight success, I've worked so hard, but before that, like something was driving me, something inside yeah. me was, and with P, which I wanted to help people, like where does that come from? And I think, looking back, it comes from my childhood and my empathy for other people. Right, Spider-Man lunges. Oh, so, yes, yeah, so we go, pop into the lunge, go left, right. This was a very classic move, because I used to dress up during lockdown, fans dress Fridays, and one of the suits was the Spider-Man suit. And uh, kids like this, because you get a little bit of a tss, tss sound effect. You spin the webs as you drop down, God, it's a burnt leg burn, isn't it? It's a hard one. <sighs> ah, right. Let's go, 10 seconds. Keep lunging. Next up, we've got hand release push ups, which is going to be like on the ground, release the hands, full push up. Three, two, one. Oh, what's your heart rate saying? Uh, 158. Yeah, it's getting up there now. What? And then the total. I should say, Joe's lent me his, his watch, a fitness watch, so it's giving me all. I thought I'd track his stats. Days. See how fit he really my is. Stats 166. I want to enter it into my, uh, my stats as well. My, he, can, he can have one of my workouts for the day. Right, so next up, how many push ups? So basically, you go down, release your hands, and push up. So release the hands, push up. Good, so listen, that's a good one. As you come up, keep your abs tight. So you're really pushing up a solid plank. There's no dip in the back, there's no arch. You're able to really work your abs. Can you feel that? I'm to work the abs. Yeah. 
Yeah, good. And if you bring your hands even closer, tuck the elbows in. Feel how much harder it is when you tuck your elbows. It's like a military style push up this one. So this is what they do in the, if you're doing like a fitness test, to do a real measurable press up, you've got to sort of tuck the elbows in and lock out the top. That's it. Good. Come on, Lou. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing. Right. Up on our feet. Whoa. It's getting hot in here. We've got the lights on us. It's warm. But look, we're training hard. Oh, this is what I love about it. It's short. I don't know how you do it and talk at the same time. No, it's hard. I've, can, I've got used to it, but this is, this is the thing about hit. It's never easy. Like, even if you're super fit, like Louis's doing it five, six days a week. I'm, I'm trying to buckle him, I'm trying to break him, and we are smashing it. So, next up, rather than high knees, just a sort of low spin. So, fast feet. Good. So good. So, get your hands up nice and straight like this, and then just use the arms to relax. Good. Fast, fast, fast. That's it. Come on, let's really, really spike the heart right now. Push it up high. The harder you work now, Louis, the great you're gonna feel at the end. The endorphins, the serotonin, the dopamine, it dumps in your brain, and that's what you're gonna feel at the end of this workout. Right, tell them, come on, 10 seconds, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Faster, 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 faster. Five, push, four, push, three, two, one. Oh. You'll go to 170 now, I reckon. Oh. One, seven, four. One, seven, four, yeah, that's what I, I get to about the same. Oh, I've got a stitch. I'm struggling now. Right, listen, we've only got another five moves. So floor touch jumps, which is basically, touch the floor, jump. Don't punch through the ceiling. Right, let's go. Good, so touch the floor, jump up. Come on, five more moves, Luke. five minutes of work, and then you're done for the day. And I've done a poll to convince Louis to go in for the first time I'm gonna get him in the ice bath. You'll love it. <laughs> in and out. Good Louis, good technique. See, so he's getting really low, he's getting deep into the squat. He's working his legs, he's not just bending his back, like he's really firing up the quads. 10 seconds, Louis. You can tell you do this, Rick, because this is hard to do that for 35. You can tell you do it, condition and rest. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, where's Louis' little towel? He had a little face towel. Oh. Right, Louis, last four moves. Next up, we're gonna run and box. So it's gonna be basically a run on the spot and bring the hands in so we don't wanna just drop the arms like this. Right, bam, 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 bam. Fast feet. Come on, Louis, 35 seconds. So knees up and long arms. So push and pull, push and pull, long arms. Sit back and forth. Good, maintain the speed, the sweat. He's dripping off him now, he's working. Come on, Louis, smash it, smash it. Don't headbutt the mic. Right, how fast can we go now, Louis? Come on, mate. I want 15 seconds of work. 15 seconds of work, come on, push. Let's go. Ah, 10 seconds, faster, Louis, Louis, faster, go, 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 come on. Push, max effort, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. I'm struggling now. Right, Louis, three more moves. We've got the full body crunch. I'll what tell you what, you are working at... I'm 37, Louis. How old are you now, can I ask that? 51. 51, you're in great shape, mate. If I'm 51 and still doing this, I'll be chuffed, I'll be really chuffed. Right, full body crunch. So, stretch the body out, and then crunch up. So stretch back, full crunch. Good, you're trying to get your shoulders off the ground. Bring yourself up. Good. Try and get your shoulders right up. Crunch. Full body crunch. Come on, we've got two more moves after this. Yeah, mate. You're, you're well. You're well fit, mate. I mean, I'm pushing you here. This is a. This is a. This is an advanced workout. Hope everybody at home is enjoying it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the chat and seeing Louis struggle. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Good work, Louis. Oh. Right, last two moves. So what we're gonna do, three push-ups, two burpees. So straight down, three strong push-ups, and then we come up for two burpees. Right, how we get? Come on, mate, nearly there. Last two. Right. What's your heart rate saying? Uh, 152 now. Woo. Right, three push-ups. Three? Yes, one, two, three. So one burpee and one more burpee, up again. That's it, two, so it's three and two. Three push-ups, two, press up, uh, sorry, three push-ups, two burpees, 
Ah. Good, come on, big finish, Louis. Think of all the hours we've worked out together in the past, through YouTube, through the app. We're in person doing it the real deal now. You did four. Oh, no, I'm just counting. Right. Okay, last one. Three push ups to finish. One, two, three, now rest. Oh, he's even done me, look, he's finished. He's showing me up there, he's finishing with burpee. Oh. 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 Look at us. Two young men doing a hard workout, both in bits, but we're getting through it. One more workout move. So Lou, this is a sprint. When I say down, we just go chest to floor, right? So just sprint with me, nice and fast, nice and fast. When I say down, we go chest to floor, so down. Let's go. Do it up and sprint, come on. 25 seconds left. He's working hard, look at the face, he's pushing. Right, down, chest to floor. Lou, last 20 seconds, sprint. Good work, come on. Come on, down, up, good, sprint, 10 seconds, sprint to finish, let's go, push, five, four, push, three, two, one, oh, oh, Louis, oh. that wasn't easy, man, much. I nearly made that a 25 minute workout, I think 20 was just a sweet spot, all right, High five, Lou. It's a high five. What's your, what's your heart rate saying? 178 beats per minute. That's a lot, man. That's, that's pushing your heart because look, it's a muscle, so you're having to work, you're having to really push your lungs to get stronger, your heart, and hopefully your mind when you settle down in a minute or so, your mind's going to start to think, yes, I'm glad I've done that. I'm glad I finished that. So, listen, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Any final words, Lou? How do you feel about that? Uh, thanks for that, Joe. Thanks for helping me through two years of difficult times, keeping me stripped. Fit and strong, and thanks for joining me for the documentary coming on BBC One. Thank you, Lou. I've, I've really enjoyed the journey, mate. It's been, a, it's been a, an emotional journey, but I'm super proud. As I said, it's going to be coming out on BBC One very soon. Check out the comments below for the t transmission date when it's going to air, and um, I really hope you get to see it and share it with your friends and family because I think it's going to help a lot of people out there with mental health issues who are suffering through this difficult time. And yeah, it's an up uplifting thing at the end, uplifting message. Take care, everyone. We're going to have a stretch. And Louis, are you up for the ice bath? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. Bye, everybody.